And this morning, leaders with the Public Utility Commission of Texas made a stop at a substation in Edinburgh. And in a tour, the commission, along with AEP officials, are continuing their work with ongoing transmission projects to meet the growing demand for power right here in the valley. Our Jeremiah Marshall has more. The Public Utility Commission of Texas, along with members of AEP, say there has been a huge growth in the Rio Grande Valley, which means more power is needed. These transmission projects can step in and help. This project will bring more power to the valley to meet the tremendous growth we've seen in this part of Texas. And in addition, it will allow extra power uh, when available from the valley to get to the rest of ERCOT. Leaders with the Public Utility Commission, AEP Texas, say these new transition projects will help with reliability during severe weather situations. If some of the power lines in the eastern part of the valley are, are damaged by storms or other types of weather, we'll have a redundant power line to make sure that households keep their lights on in the Rio Grande Valley. From hurricanes to even a historic freeze, AEP leaders say this $1.28 billion project can provide a crucial source of energy. What this, uh, what these projects will do is help build in some additional reliability and resiliency into the system, right, by bringing another source into the Rio Grande Valley, so another transmission line into the Rio Grande Valley. AEP workers were able to show the utility commission which power lines need to go where and what circuits need to be upgraded. So while you might not see the actual construction taking place yet. There's a lot of the engineering, the analysis, the routing of the lines, and a lot of that behind the scenes work that is starting to be prepared. For NBC 23, I'm Jeremiah Marshall. Yeah, the project is expected to be completed by the end of 2026. In this process, there will also be three public open houses from October 24th through the 26th. And so far, it's not confirmed what time and where these meetings will take place.